Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Today we had our press conference to kick off Arts Alive LI. Arts Alive LI is an ongoing website, it's a portal for arts and culture. And we want everyone to know about the website, it's on year round and you can go there and see what's happening all over Long Island. When we launched Arts Alive LI in 2012, we had the support of Bethpage Federal Credit Union and they committed to several years because they understand that a project like this takes a while to get off the ground. Well, in addition to that, we were able to leverage that community support into state support. I Love New York and New York State Council on the Arts both funded this year because of our economic development aspect to the festival. Not a lot of people realize the impact of the arts on our economy, but nationally, Washington realizes. I mean, it's all about cultural tourism and attracting people to come and enjoy the incredible resources we have here in our country and look at Long Island. I mean, it's such a beautiful place. Our beautiful beaches and all our natural environment that you can enjoy here, but also the great arts and culture. This is a total collaboration. Long Island Arts Alliance is really the organization that pulled together virtually all of the cultural organizations, museums and art centers and performing arts centers. So in essence, we are a collaborative in the first place. But secondly, um, people wanted to have events in their area. So the signature event will, will bring people to other institutions in the area as well. We think Long Island is at a tipping point. We're operating in a new economy where collaboration is important. And that's what you see with all the arts organizations that are supporting Arts Alive on Long Island. Collaboration is probably key across all business sectors and in all jobs these days, but it's no more apparent than it is with the arts. Uh, because with the arts, the organizations typically have small marketing budgets and small administrative budgets. And if they want their art to be seen and the artists to have a platform, they need to advertise and they need to be able to get the word out. And that's what this program does across it. So it's collaboration with the artists and collaboration with the venues, and it helps promote Long Island. National Geographic Entertainment invites you to explore a land cherished by billions. A really exciting part of the festival this year is the opportunity to showcase this incredible film, Jerusalem. This is the only place here at the Cradle of Aviation that you can see this film in New York State. Jerusalem, uh, the film, takes audiences inside one of the most incredible places in the world, actually, from four different points of view. From Jewish, Christian, Muslim, and secular eyes. So what we do is we actually take you to the cities. You feel like you're experiencing Jerusalem. We take you through time, we take you through history, and we take you through some of the different neighborhoods that you, for example, as a tourist, could never get into. Some of the holiest places in the world for half our population. The value of the arts is really intangible. Uh, arts have been a part of my life but for so long, and I think that with filmmaking, and especially with science education filmmaking, I try to fuse the arts and, and science, really, and I think that people tend to separate them out, and they try and put a value on these things, and ultimately, you can tell when young people are excited, and art can do that in a way that's entirely profound. A lot of the participants in the drumline, they never had the opportunity to participate in school band growing up. And now, with this drumline, they've had the opportunity to perform in Walt Disney World this past year. Coming up, we're going to be performing at the Newsday Marching Man Festival at Hofstra University. And we'll be making history there. 51 years, and we're the very first special needs drumline ever performed there. And coming up in April 2014, we're going to be performing at the WGI, Winter Garden International World Championships in Dayton, Ohio. And again, we're going to be making history there. It's very important to promote the arts because it, it, it teaches self-expression, it teaches people how to really come out of their shell. So, especially with the special needs individuals, some of them have trouble communicating, but everybody can communicate through music. Last year our spokesperson was Patty Lapone, and uh, this year we have the lovely Melissa Arapo. And then of course Melissa is the enchanting Broadway star, 
whose intimate recordings of American classics have been commended as sung with her heart on her sleeve. There's nothing like the arts and arts education for just developing self-esteem and having fun. And I think having fun in life helps you with everything. If you can be happy, you know, you got yourself, a, you know, a future.